Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by the new head boys basketball coach at Howell. Of course, that is Nick Olson. Um, how are you? I'm doing good today. I know I'm, I'm excited to be here talking with you. And, you know, I appreciate you, you know, asking me to come on and, and talk a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, so for, okay, why don't we just start with this? Just um, tell everybody, of course, you're, you are in the area um, and you were a part of the program. So just kind of maybe kind of tell a little bit about yourself and what you do. Yeah, sure. So I've been coaching with Howell basketball the last three years. Uh, two of those years, I was the freshman head coach. And then one of the years I was just a varsity assistant. Um, you know, I'm a guy that's rooted in Howell. Uh, I've lived in Howell since I was about five years old. Um, you know, my current job is at Clary University, which is in Howell. I coach college baseball there and I work in the housing department at Clary. So, you know, I'm, I'm super excited to get an opportunity to, uh, you know, coach Howell, mainly because I've been a part of the community for so long. And, you know, it's an opportunity for me to represent the community in a, in a positive light. And I just couldn't be happier that I got the opportunity. And, you know, it's a privilege to be able to come out and, uh, you know, represent Howell High School. Yeah. Um, so to kind of go in there, and what, what really intrigued you about this job? Um, you know, the main thing that really intrigued me about this job in particular is, you know, in my lifetime, sports has always been an avenue where I've made great relationships and I've had great experiences. And, you know, that's kind of what drives me to be a coach. And being from Howell, when this opportunity became open, you know, I just looked at it as an opportunity for me to enable those athletes to have those experiences and make those relationships. Cause at the end of the day, to me, that's what it's all about. You know, I, I played sports for a long time. I've coached sports now, you know, for my job and, you know, to see the players make those relationships and have those positive experiences that they'll take with them for the rest of their lives. Uh, you know, to me, that's second to none. And that's the most important thing to me. So, you know, for me, it was a no brainer that when a, in a job that I'm super excited for opens up in my backyard, it was something that to me, it seemed like it was a perfect scenario. And, you know, I'm just happy and, and thankful that it worked out. Okay. So now obviously you've, uh, you've had the job for a few weeks. Now it's, you know, I know that obviously it's different from a lot of other things, but you know, what is the plan, um, you know, going forward? Because, you know, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the staff that uh, coach Simon had um, is staying with you. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like the transition process um, you know, will be more seamless than others because not a ton of things are changing. Um, you know, obviously I'll have my new little things here and there, little quirks that I want to put in, but, you know, as a full body of work, you know, I think a lot of this stuff will, will be similar. And, you know, for, from a basketball mentality, um, you know, we just got to get in the gym and get better every day. That's what it's about. It's about constantly improving, constantly growing. Uh, you know, those are going to be some of the big things that I hit on is just, you know, putting the time in so we can build that confidence and we can build that camaraderie, uh, you know, so when the season comes around, we're, we're ready to rock and we're ready to make some noise. Yeah. Um, I know, um, uh, I know coach samples is, uh, is staying on from what I understand. Um, and then uh, also, I know that uh, I know that Josh Palo, who has helped you out, is going to be uh, is going to be with you as well. Yeah. So I mean, what what Ken does for our program is is unmatched. I mean, he's an integral part of the Howell community and Howell basketball. He's a guy that you know he's been around the block a few times, so you know nothing will surprise him. And he's going to be a great you know calming presence and a guy that I can really learn from. Um, you know, even as the head coach, you know, if you're not constantly growing and constantly evolving and, and willing to take what other people have to say, then, you know, I don't feel like I'm necessarily doing my job. So, you know, he's going to be a big part of what we do as well. And then, you know, I think Josh Paolo, what, what he was able to do as a player when he was in the uh, in the conference and in the area kind of speaks for itself. I mean, the guy's basketball ability and his basketball knowledge are are second to none. And, he was a guy that, you know, when, when I got the job, I knew that he was a guy that I had to make sure I had on the staff because he's a guy that knows winning basketball. You know, he did it as a player. He, I've seen him do it as a coach. Um, you know, so obviously I feel like he's going to be an invaluable asset 
uh, not only for me, but for the players. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff that he can teach these guys and, you know, and that's the plan. And we talk about getting better every day and getting in the gym, you know, whether it's me or coach samples or coach Paolo, I mean, these guys are going to have good direction and, and guys that are, you know, willing to put the time in with them and, and really grow and start growing those relationships. Um, you know, that's, you know, like I said earlier, that's the most important part to me. And I think is an integral part of winning is that relationship piece. And that's something that I'm really focused on right now being, you know, a week or two into the job, you got to build those relationships with the players, with the coaches, with the faculty and the staff at the school. Um, you know, I think it all kind of accumulates into, you know, a well-organized machine and, and those relationships are just so valuable to me. Yeah. Okay. So I know you know, I mean, you're not just the varsity coach, but you're also, you also got to put together the, the staffs for the JV team, but you also have to find a replacement for yourself. Um, yeah. Which you were the freshman coach last year. Uh, where are we at in that process? Yeah. So, I mean, we had Rich Dell who works at the high school. Uh, he's been the JV coach the last couple of years and, you know, I know that he has a son who was a senior on the team last year who's going to Adrian College to play basketball. So, um, you know, obviously he's got some basketball knowledge as well. And, you know, I've been lucky enough to say that he's committed to staying on the staff, um, you know, which I'm I'm super happy and excited about. And then as far as, you know, the freshman coach, for anybody that's going to be listening to this, we're, look, we're looking to hire. Um, you know, so we're looking for somebody that's going to be energetic somebody that's going to be willing to put the time in. Um, so any former players, alumni out there that are listening, you know, we're, we're ready for you to come home and be a part of it. So, yeah. you know, we haven't, you know, figured out who's going to be the freshman coach yet, but, you know, we're going to do our due diligence and try to get the best guy available in that spot. Yeah. Okay. So I know that, you know, with, um, has anyone, uh, has anyone else in the league reached out to you and stuff? And, uh, have you gotten to, uh, I mean, and of course, also putting a schedule together. Um, what, what has that been like? Because I, I know that Coach Simon um, will probably help you with on that side of things. Yeah, sure. So as far as the scheduling goes, I mean, the, the first order of business, right, is getting our summer plan together. Right. You know, figuring out what team camps we're going to be in, figuring out what summer league we're going to play in, you know, making sure that we have our open gym set up and that kind of stuff, you know. So for me, you know, the last week or so, I've really been trying to hammer down and work what our summer schedule is going to be. And then, you know, going forward, um, you know, one thing that I really appreciated about Coach Simon and what we did, uh, you know, previously is we tried to schedule some tough out-of-conference opponents. Yeah. And I think it's super important to go play those good teams. So, you know, we played the Okemos, the Williamston, um, you know, Ann Arbor Pioneer in the past which I think are all really good experiences for us and definitely get us ready for the conference. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'll be definitely looking to continue scheduling those types of teams. Um, I think we already have Okemos and Williamston on the schedule, which will be, you know, two very good opponents. Obviously Williamston's what, two years removed from state a state championship run. Um, you know, Okemos, you know, I have a lot of respect for what they do over there basketball wise. They're always put out a quality product you know that they're going to be fundamental. You know they're going to play the game the right way. So, you know, just continuing to get those good teams on the schedule to prepare our guys for, you know, battles that we're going to have in the conference, um, you know, battles that we're going to have in the district. Um, you know, there's a lot of good teams in the conference. There's a lot of good coaches in the conference. Um, you know, so as, as far as I'm concerned, we just got to continue to get better every day. And, you know, it's just exciting to be a part of it. And, you know, I, there's – really not much else to say other than it's time to get to work and let's see what happens. Yeah, this is, uh, and of course, as you know, since you know you've been here all the time, um, what Coach Simon has done these last um, last decade plus with, with the teams that he has had, um, you know, including making a run all the way to the Final Four in 2019, uh, you know, to, to be the coach of this program that has had a lot of success over the year, over over the last few years, what, what does that mean to you? And how are you going to kind of continue the success of that, this, that this program has? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously coach Simon uh, did a great job in his tenure. He's, I can confidently say that in my opinion, he's the best basketball coach how high school, um, you know, has ever had. And, you know, obviously those are going to be some shoes to fill, 
But I think the best way for me to fill those shoes is just to be myself and, you know, trust in my abilities and trust in my staff and trust in the players. And, um, you know, obviously it's going to be a long road and, and we're going to have to, you know, work our tails off. But, you know, he set a great blueprint for what it's supposed to look like, uh, you know, not only at the varsity level, but how he conducts the freshman in the J League, JV level, you know, how, how to work with the youth. Um, you know, I think having a good youth program and having an organized youth program is super vital to the varsity success. And, you know, that's going to be one of my main orders of business is, you know, make sure that the youth program knows I'm invested in them. Um, you know, whether that's me going to practices or me meeting with the youth coaches, um, you know, I think the youth aspect is a super important piece of what we do at the high school level. And it also, you know, formulates that sense of community and that sense of, you know, whether you're on the floor playing in the varsity games or whether you're a parent in the stands or whether you're a fifth grader who's at the games, you know, idolizing the high school guys, you know, we're all, we're all in this together and, you know, it's going to take everybody to, you know, get to the places that we want to be, which is, you know, inevitably, you know, competing to win the conference, competing to win districts, you know, those are the things that, you know, kind of our goals that we're going to set and, you know, it starts with everybody and, you know, it's a year round, it's a year round thing at this point. Um, you know, it's a 365 day job and, you know, I'm just excited to be a part of it and excited to, you know, make my stamp and, and, uh, you know, make, make how basketball known. Yeah. All right. Well, Nick Olson, thank you so much for taking some time to talk. Congrats on becoming the newest head coach at Howell, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks, you. I appreciate the opportunity to come out and talk today.